We begin tonight with some Class B Legion baseball. A big game tonight between two undefeated teams. Surrey Blue Sox taking on the Renville County Muskrats. We go to game one. Bottom of the first, one on for Surrey, and Colin Hedrick hits one down the third baseline to left field, and one run will score. Two nothing Blue Sox. Top of the third, Renville's Corbin Hall hits a one hopper to the shortstop. He can't get a handle on it, and a Muskrat will score. Two one Surrey. Renville County hoping to score at least one run to go to extra innings, but Surrey's Keegan McLean strikes out the batter to end the game. He finishes with 11 strikeouts. Surrey wins game one, two to one. Here's what Coach Feller had to say after the game. Uh, big thing is just uh, you know everybody keeping each other's backs. Uh, you know we had a few things, uh, maybe some blunders, and um, guys did a good job of just picking each other right back up and you know getting out and making that next play, or you know Keegan stepping up with a strikeout. So uh, just a good team effort to keep everybody's heads in the game. We head now to game two of the doubleheader. Surrey is down by one. Top of the fifth, base is loaded, and Surrey's Brady Feller hits one to right field, but Renville's Caleb Fulton with a diving catch to end the inning. Look at that catch. That's a top play this week, I think. Top of the sixth, one on, and Surrey's Jackson Feller hits it up the middle. The throw to home is too late, and the game is tied at four. Moving to the bottom of the sixth, runners on and Muskrat's Gannon Hall sends this to shallow left field, and Renville County gets the win 6-4 to four to split the series. We head to Garrison as the Titans host the Velva 39ers. Game one, bottom of the first, Jack Bright shoots this down the third baseline over the head of the baseman. The throw to home, that's going to be too late too, and Gunnar Jacobs is going to score. It's 1-0 Titans. Top of the second, 39ers down 2-1. Tace Peterson chops this between second and third through the defenders, and Gunnar Mogan comes home. The game is tied at two. Top of the third, Blake Ingebretson hits up, gets up to bat. He puts it into play in and out of the glove. Jersey Selzer extends their lead 3-2. Same inning, Peterson up to bat again. He hits a deep shot to right field. That's going to fall just short of the wall. Ingebretson scores, and Mogan beats the tag. 39ers are up 7-2. And they'll add a few more runs and win 13 to 3 in game 1 and 8 to 6 in game 2. We wrap up tonight's highlights with the Saber Dogs who are going for the sweep of the Pierre Trappers. We're scoreless at the top of the second. Brendan Perez pops this up to left. Is it going to be enough? It is. He gets it over the wall for a two-run home run, two nothing Trappers. A few batters later, Richie Williams on first. He'll go for second, but it can't get there in time. Saber Dogs with the out. Top of the third now, runners on first. Eric Mass chops it to the second baseman, a toss to the shortstop, and the throw at home to get the double play for the Sabre Dogs. Top of the third, a sack fly to right center field. That's going to bring home Nick Hamill. And Joseph Bramante, well, look at these sweet moves. He's, gonna, he's hoping that these are going to score some more runs for the Chappers so they don't get the shutout. It's too early to tell, though. We're tied at four in extra innings.